pumping up, pumping high, pumping up. It really feels like flying, coming up just like a lion. What up, guys? So, yes, it's time again. We're going to be active on the YouTube channel. We're getting back into training. You know, uh, the time has passed that uh, we have been uh, lazy. I need to change my body. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm gonna let you see how I will be doing it, what kind of adjustments we're going to make on a weekly basis. Uh, my trainings will always be the same, so be assured that what you are going to watch is pretty much not new in terms of training. This channel will be more different than you are used to look at my videos. And the reason being is there is so much going on at this particular moment. We are setting up the brand. You know, and uh, the brand that I'm going to talk a little bit in depth in a different video. So yeah, that's what we have been very busy with. And yeah, you know, I needed to find my time, my, my structure and everything. Now becoming a dad, of course. Today we have upper body training that you will see also. I've got my book, my notebook here. All the trainings of 2018, you know, got a lot to go still. And uh, we'll be tracking everything again. So the vlogs will probably be more like fashionable uh, what happens here in the office you know let's just see what we are experiencing here let's just see how it goes with the brand let's just see how it goes with the bodybuilding let's just see how it goes with everything that's pretty much happening in my life right now so let's take a look at the shape right now currently 85 kilograms coming back from 86.6 kilograms last week so uh, went down a little bit but let's take a look let's take a look on what is happening here so currently I'm like I said 85 kilograms this is what it looks like fluffy and puffy poses in here so that will be it so I want to drop down to approximately 75 kilograms maybe 78 I have to see last time I was dropping weight um, it looked very good at 77.5 kilograms it looked very full and shredded um, we'll see where that goes right now. Back in that day, I was training six days a week. Had plenty of volume, volume that I cannot handle right now. But we will build it up along the way. Um, so let's get into the training and we'll see uh, what there is left over.
been training, you know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, pretty consistently, four or five days, not two days anymore in a week, or skipping whole weeks. Now we're getting in some groceries and, uh, yeah, cook some dinner. Only had shake today with a banana, and it is now like 19.26 p.m. Got a lot of macros over. Time for food, ladies and gents. Aioli, pandan rice, chicken thai. And the weighing scale is back in the house. So I'm going to adjust my macros. Normally I'm consuming 3,000 calories, you know, very flexible. But right now we will go down to 300 carbs, 200 protein and fat, so we'll keep that at uh, 70 to start with. So just to drop your carbohydrate. The thing that I want to say here is that normally when I have this, if I'm using my fitness bar, I'm scanning all these products. Every now and then you want to double check those products within your database. Because what I see right now, this is, this is chicken thai marinated. So back then for 100 grams, same exact product, I was getting 19 grams of protein, 11 grams of fats. If I'm looking right now, I'm seeing 12 grams of fat, 15 grams of protein. So, you know, it's a bump in fat with one gram. It's not much, but proteins goes down from 19 to 15. So always double check your products within your database, even though they are already scanned or you put it into your database, you know, always check the products you, you are getting new from the grocery store. I will track my weight with uh, an app, it's called My Weight, it's like this, and you just fill in your, your, your data and you will see the graph, how you're progressing and everything else. So yeah, it's kind of handy, you know, I don't like to track my weight with my fitness pal or whatever. So uh, this is how I would do it. Just had the shake, banana, some milk. It's now 9 p.m. We had to do groceries. So still need to eat my post-workout meal, which we're going to do right now. It's gonna be an epic one. So this is actually pretty funny if you think about it. Um, the same exact chicken has four grams of Protein. I just was thinking about this, what I was saying to you guys, but how can it be that the same exact chicken has four grams less protein? Same, same product. Is it the fattier chicken? Or where does it come from that the protein has decreased? Now, this is also a reason why you should never be, or you don't want to be, extremely focused on getting in the macros right. I know with contest prep you want to do so, but with this, you know, you can see the, 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 the nutrition values of all the products that you're going to eat um, always varies so much, you know, so therefore tracking everything on the dot exactly, which I did for my 2015 show in Dubai, is a little bit crazy. So you want to loosen up with certain things, you know, don't want to stress uh, for these kinds of matters. Carb dip looks like this. I didn't manage to eat all the carbs because the fat was so saturating, it was unbelievable. So I'm left over with 80 grams of protein and uh, pro probably 250 grams of carbs or something. Fats are all done. Yes, it's a fatty chicken. So uh, we'll see what we're getting in, some ice cream or I don't know. Taking this very flexible, you know, this, uh, this cut and uh, whenever I have no more fats left over and I eat a little bit over it, I still got plenty of carbs to play with and to compensate. So that's a good thing. Uh, definitely will be doing that the whole 
semi prep if you will so uh, yeah we'll see we'll see the time schedule that it's going to take to get me from this weight that I'm right now to uh, 75 wah, 77 half kilograms we'll see at that point how we look and uh, go from here um, yeah always flexible that's me of today quark get in the last bits of protein I will still have 30 grams of protein left over but I don't stress out because I know 200 grams of protein at this particular time is enough to bear it so you know taking in the 170 grams of protein which the target is 200 whatever I don't sleep bad by doing this so you see don't stress it you know if you don't want to eat anymore and you know that you have getting a certain amount of protein, you should be perfectly fine.